Hello. Now today uh, I will show you how to turn uh, a bright picture like this to uh, a dark picture. Like this. All right. So let's get to it. Okay, so open your Adobe Photoshop and just open the image that you want to to darken or whatever and you know uh, first of all like I will make uh, I will apply a little bit of uh, retouching in the image so I will duplicate this one here and I will Put it in overlay, landing mode, and I will reverse it by pressing Ctrl I. Or you can just go to Image, Adjustments, and choose Invert, like so. Now uh, I will go to Filter, and I will choose Other and High, pa high Pass. As you can see, it gives it a uh, a uh, great effect you can choose uh, the values the radius it's depending on the picture you are using so it might, might be different of mine so we just keep it in five pixels it's okay now uh, what, what I'm gonna do is we we'll go to filter again and I will choose blur Gaussian blur and I will choose uh, Two pixel radius, and as you can see, it's a really uh, big difference. As you can see. Okay, so let's go with this quick retouching. Now uh, I will choose the pen tool. And I will try like uh, to trace. Uh, the area that I want to be visible and I will make it a black in the other area so we just want to make the face visible so we just try to trace like this like so and by pressing Ctrl Enter, you will make a selection of it. Now press Ctrl I to reverse it, and we'll make a new layer, and I will call it Shadow One. And I will fill it with black by pressing Alt Delete. Now I will go and would duplicate it. Shadow two, and I will make this shadow one here. I will make it blur. So we we'll go to filter, blur, Gaussian blur. Now I will give it uh, 20, 20 radius pixel in here. Then we press OK, and we will make the opacity fifty percent. Now I will go to the shadow two, and we we'll go again to filter, blur, Gaussian blur. And I will give it 80 radius pixel. Press OK, and I will choose 50 percent opacity. Now I will select the both of these uh, shadows and will duplicate it by pressing pressing Ctrl G, and I will make the opacity 100 percent, and I will merge them both. Call this shadow three. And by the way, I will put this PSD file so you can download it. You will find the uh, in the link in the description. Now uh, I will change the blending mode to soft light, and I will make the opacity 50 percent. As you can see, it started to look a little bit darker. Now uh, I will make uh, a new layer and again I will call it shadow 4 
and I will try uh, to make a, a kind of circle around the face like this like so and I will reverse it with a simple draw eye and I will make, make it black now uh, I will go to filter the Gaussian blur and I will choose 120 radio radius pixel and I would make it in soft light and I will change the opacity to 50% now we will darken a little bit of the neck in here so like to make a, a darker Effect, like you need to apply a uh, mini layer so it would look a little bit realistic that's what we're trying to do now I will make a new layer call it shadow and it is in black can go to filter blur gas and blur and choose 50 radius pixel and Again, I will make it in soft light and I will change the opacity to 50%. Now, uh, we need like to apply a uh, black and white adjustment. So, go to adjustment and I will choose black and white. And uh, as you can see, like you can. Uh, adjust the setting in here to make it uh, whatever you want the picture to look like so I'm just trying to like, play with that doesn't do much Alright, now if we change the blending mode in this uh, black and white, like it will change the, the effect. So let's try multiply. As you can see, it looks really cool. Or like overlay or soft light. Looks cool. But let's change it to multiply and merge everything. By pressing Shift Control Alt E, and we will change this one in here to soft light. And now we we'll go to the multiply and we we'll change the opacity to 50%, and we will change the blending mode to luminosity to bring the colors. Now we will apply uh, an, another adjustment there, so apply a color balance effect and we try to change this red in here so we just now you can choose whatever settings depends on playing with this We go to the shadows. Okay, we go to highlights. Alright, you can see it looks cool. Alright, now uh, 
we will make another adjustment we'll apply a gradient map so we'll try to change this uh, red colors but that does look cool in black and white too so we'll change the colors uh, or we choose a bluish color like so with a greenish one like this one here it's okay it's okay and I will change the blending mode to screen and I will turn the opacity to 15% as you can see and we can always go back and play with the colors so we can find the the right one we want so okay and okay and you're done so I hope that you enjoyed the tutorial and was a little bit helpful for you don't forget to subscribe and comment and you know have a nice day thank you for watching